Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 19, episode 23. Um, well, things did not go exactly as I had planned in the off season. <laughs> Needless to say, uh, so we had applied for that job in Brazil. And I thought we had a realistic chance to get that job. Uh, then we got the email or the notification that our board was concerned that they could not afford my, the buyout clause in my contract. So I was like, oh man. And then sure enough, they didn't offer me the position. Um, didn't even get an interview. Uh, at all so I was like shit because you know I mean I'm a two-star reputation now they were a two-star club or two and a half star I thought that was perfect uh, and that was why I was thinking about jumping so I took the leap of faith and I resigned I said you know what we're getting close to the end here because today I'm recording this on September 9th I'm staying home sick today, and I, and I am sick. I woke up uh, sick this morning, but uh, I'm going to power through and do some recording in at least. Uh, but that's why I'm reclined, and, and uh, let me fix my little thing right there. There we go. Uh, but I am reclined. My stomach's bothering me. Uh, something I ate. I had a touch of food poisoning or something. I don't know. Maybe my wife tried to kill me. Just kidding. She wouldn't do that. Uh, I hope. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I resigned from uh, Universitario de Sucre and uh, I said all right so I'm gonna go full bore for a job because I had applied for a second job after the Brazil job fell through and I got the same notification that well you know they probably you know can't afford the you know to, to pay off his contract you know to buy to, to acquire him uh, they weren't upset they weren't upset that I was looking but they said all right we just don't think they can afford him so i was like well we'll we'll fix that issue by resigning and then there's no buyout right and then that makes me easy opportunity for whoever wants me i ended up applying for seven jobs i interviewed for every single one of them once i resigned i interviewed i, I applied for seven more jobs uh there were two in peru that I thought were long shots, but that I was actually the favorite for, for both of them and didn't get either one of them. So I'm like, well, shit. So if you guys know some tricks on answering the, if there are any tricks to answering the interview questions, uh, let me know because maybe that's what it is. I have no idea. Um, so the jobs just started coming off the board. Well, you know, we decided not to go with you. We're still pursuing other inter other applications. Uh, you know, just boom, boom, boom. They kept falling off. The Peru ones fell off. The Brazilians fell off. We had another one come up in Brazil in the third division, and it didn't pan out. Um, and I was like, damn. And it was literally the first job that I applied to was the last job on the board and i was sitting there going holy crap i have resigned from a club that i've got making money and we're in continental football and i'm going to be unemployed and i can't get anybody to give me a sniff well i got a job and uh yeah so let's take a look at it that's why i had this up so you guys couldn't see it Cerro lago Cerro largo in uh where are they at i don't remember where are they at i forgot uruguay yeah just down the road from bolivia uruguay real small country i think we'll look at that next episode but here's the here's the big deal so this is the they got relegated. They got relegated from the Segunda 
Primera Division de Uruguay, which is number seven in the continent, which is pretty good. That, so I was looking at this, those two Perus. I was looking here. I was looking, you know, I, I was looking everywhere. Um, so this is where we ended up, but they had gotten relegated. And I said, well, even though we're stepping back from number 15 to number 20, I said, I'm all right with that because if we move, go straight back up, then we're in a top 10 league. And that, you know, and, and this is another, you know, another promotion, another piece of silverware, maybe, you know, another, another, uh, you know, more prestige. And then that's going to help us get to Brazil. And that's, that was my thinking. The Peru that I was looking at was because they were number 19 for their second division. But then if you go up to their first division, they're number eight. So I was like, well, hell, you know, that's, that's pretty good. And I had even looked at one in Colombia that was second division because I was like, well, if we get promoted there, then boom, we're number three, you know, being number, you know, in the league we were in, we were number 15, but that was as high as we could go. So I, even though I set up, I may have to take a step back here. It could be a step forward in the long run. So um, I was a little disappointed. It was Sarah Largo because um, I know that, uh, you know, you guys, I make no bones that, you know, Loki Doki is a guy that I watch. He's the one that, you know, got kind of got me into doing football manager. And I know he had done a Sarah Largo save a couple of years, a year or so ago. So, you know, I was like, yeah, but you know, look at the end of the day, you know, when you're doing a journeyman and, and stuff is random, this stuff's going to happen. So, you know, it is what it is. So let's take a quick look at the club. We'll get into the opening match of the season. We'll probably only do one match because there's a lot to do. Next match, we'll take a look at the map, show you guys where Cerro Largo is, where uh, Uruguay is, and, uh, you know, farewell to Bolivia, and we did a good job. Uh, tell you what, let's go take a look at them. Is that it? Yeah, yep. All right, so they're currently in seventh position. Um, secure finances. Uh, let's see. Valued at $7 million, so they're doing all right. Uh, schedule, senior squad. So I left, or I resigned before the friendly right before like a week before the friendly it was in early january i made the decision to resign so uh not a good run of form to start off boys lost to sport boys draw was strongest they did beat san jose uh let's see i want to look at that's not what i want to see Goal scorers. There we go. Uh, so Juarez, Martinez, Luna Diale, Herrera, Martinez, Luna Diale, Hugo Mesa scored. Wow. Um, February 21st. They got him back on loan again. Wow, that is crazy. So they loaned him again. That's pretty funny. Uh, let's look at transfers because I one of the things that happened right before I resigned, I had some teams in the league sniffing around uh, our left back, the young guy that had just become an international. And I offered him a new contract, upped his wages a little bit, thinking, well, that'll keep him here. And then he said, hey, you know, I really think I need to go to a bigger club for the good of my career. And I went, I just gave you a new freaking contract. Nobody ever does that. And he says, well, I'm the first one. Um, all right, well, they have not sold him yet. All right, so Quintana on a free, Soria Garcia, Trasante on loans. They brought in this guy, Luciano Fernandez on a loan. Right back. All right, not bad. He can't cross. He wouldn't have played for me, but that's all right. From Uruguay at that. So that's the new uh, foreign player they brought in. Uh, do we have anybody? No, huh? 
All right, well, that's cool. So he is still there. Let's look at uh, the squad. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. Let's go back here. Players, senior squad. There we go. All right, so if we flip here. Luna Diale. Um, well, where the hell is he at? A new keeper. Quinonia is 31-year-old keeper. Ugh. Come on, man. Fernandez, Juarez. Where is our guy? He is not on there. Um... Crap, I can't believe I can't think of his name. Um, God, you guys know who I'm talking about, right? Now I'm going to have to go back and look at the freaking video to remember his name. God, he's like one of our star players. Um, crap. All right, so he is with Bolivia. And we can look at the senior squad. There he is, Sadie Flores. Where's he at? Oh, they did sell him. So he's gone. He is gone. And where is he at? Audix Italiano? Chilean First Division. Yeah, okay, so that was, uh, that was one of the... Uh, leagues he was talking about going to and they're pretty high up so yeah top um hello top six so yeah there was no way i could really keep him so that's oh that's disappointing though um so he went for a hundred thousand dollars well good on good for them so they got some money out of him uh we paid 1.2 yeah, that was a botch job, but yeah, well, he was good. He wasn't 1.2 million good, but um, yeah, he was the one. If if you remember, I accepted without negotiating and just and screwed up. So, but hell, I mean, he was pretty damn awesome for us. So, I think we got our money's worth. We certainly got into internet international uh, continental competition twice, but. Anyway, so that's what's going on there. So we are in Sarah Largo. Largo. You can see they are in dire straits financially. Uh, we are a million dollars in the hole. Uh, we do have a net debt of $1.9 million. Uh, so that's troubling. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some work here. It's going to take some work. Uh, the big thing, I think we're just going to have to get back up into the top league uh, if we look at schedule and i don't need goal scorers here uh, we want to go there and yeah there we go um well we have not had a home match yet uh, we played in the Uruguayan Cup first round and we won 2-1 that was before my arrival uh, I, I was actually applied I applied back in January like I said they were the first job that I applied to so uh, anyway we'll learn the team together but I wanted to let you know where I was at so we are we are in the second round coming up but we're playing Deportivo Maldonado today we have a bunch of players, some of our top flight players that want to leave because of being relegated. Um, I'm going to probably play hardball, but we'll have to see. Uh, we are only spending 618000 with a $1.09 million payroll budget. No transfer. So that's that. Uh, so let's get into it. I haven't looked at the club yet, really. I've, I've glanced at it, but... Uh, match preview, uh, we are road favorites. I like the kits. I like the kits. At least I like the road kits. Even with the up and down stripes, at least they're not 
horizontal, which I detest. Uh, what are we competition? Sabunda season preview. Uh, we're recently relegated. We're picked to finish second and challenge for automatic promotion. So, yeah, I think we'll be all right. Uh, just if the players can play my tactic. So I brought in the tactics that saw us to success in Bolivia. Uh, I am trying to get a general manager hired. Right now I've got the uh, assistant manager uh, making, well, he's always the one that makes these decisions unless I have a, another coach. All right, so let's take a quick look. Juan Belts. So Washington Aguera, 30-year-old keeper. Emilio Teixeira, 29-year-old right back. Uh, Kevin Morera, a left back, 26 years old. Enzo Martinez and Hugo Magal Magalinez, I guess, uh, 25 and 26 respectively at center back. Uh, Matias De Los Santos, 25-year-old defensive mid. What's He's unhappy. He's one of our unhappy players. He's got an 11 passing, so hopefully he can do the job there. Nicholas Prieto and Nicholas uh, Suarez. I guess we're going with the last names on these guys. 31 and 26. Uh, they are, what is that? Transfer arranged. All right, so he's leaving. Some of these guys were already transfer listed and sold before I got here. Uh, we've got Aloni in. Uh, Facundo Milan. May have to buy him if he's any good. 23 years old. He's my right winger. What's he look like? Good physicals. He can dribble. Crossing's okay. First touch finishing. Hmm? Hmm? He's more of a striker, but he can play that right wing. Sebastian Sosa. He is uh, unhappy. Wants to leave the club. And uh, we have another Loney. Um, Maximilano Wombelts, Wombelts, we call him Wombat. Uh, he is our striker. What's he look like? Pretty decent physicals, 14 finishing, 12 first touch, really good acceleration. So he may score some goals for us. Well, let's get into it. All right, we've taken 17 minutes just to introduce you to the club. That's kind of normal. First, first uh, video, especially when you switch clubs. So we'll get this one out of the way. Uh, give a, a bit of a morale boost. Yes. Uh, I'm going to try to give them some green here in the early going. I think everybody on the continent speaks uh, Spanish. There's one country that speaks Portuguese. Anybody know what country that is? I don't remember. Don't remember. They have ties to Portugal. But anyway... All right. All right. First set piece. Oh, uh, we break out the patented RC short corner. I have gone in and looked at that. Can't figure out how to change it. It's It looks like it's on mixed. I have no idea. All right. There's our first yellow of the season. It goes to our center back, Magalenas. Nice. Uh, let's uh, get creative. All right, we play it out of the back. Yeah, I really haven't looked at any. Uh, well, that was not good. I haven't looked at any of their ratings yet. So I'm really trusting the uh, the ass man here, the assistant manager. Colo goes route one over the top. Nieves, oh, nice, nice save by Aguera. Made himself big. Good stop. Not many people. Well, there's a few dozen in the stands, it looks like. Uh, Aguera with a nice save. Nobody down at that end of the pitch. Hopefully when we're uh, when we're home, we're drawing a few more fans. Gee whiz. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to, yeah, we're on attacking. Play it out wide. Uh, reverse field then. There you go. Down into the corner. Uh, bounced off. Took a step. First goal. Nicholas Prieto, midfielder. 
first goal for Sara Largo on the season. He gets RC, gets me off the, off the blocks at a 1-0 advantage. Nice. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, nice touch. Good defense. Play it out wide again. There you go. Trying to break them down. Oh, that was a nice... Oh, Nicholas Suarez with a bullet. Oh, nice ball movement there. Some good movement right there in the middle. Some long shots, but still 2-0. Good job. 8-4 to four on shots. Uh, we're going to have a long throw in here. Somebody's injured. What's wrong with him? Uh, Marrera. A knee injury. Probably should sub him off then. Uh, we've got one guy that can play left back. 29-year-old Leandro Zaspi. Heading, long throws, marking. So he could he could play. Decent crossing. All right, we're going to put him in at left back. Get the injury off the field. There's a save by Fernandez on the cross. That was poor stoppage on my part. I apologize. All right, he lumps it. Teixeira, De Los Santos. I guess what I'm hoping is we start winning and, and I can buy some time with these guys and just be like, look, we're going we're gonna to get back up, man. Just chill out. All right, crossed in. All right, Teixeira comes up and grabs it. Suarez, Sosa, Marrera. Oh, oh, that should have gone in. Oh, beautiful header across the face of the goal to the far post. Oh, my God, that should have went in. That was such bad luck. Such bad luck. Raimundes. Oh, there you go. All right, boys. Uh, you know what we did? Let me pause it for a second. All right, we are on key. Yep, everything's right. I wanted to make sure by switching clubs that we hadn't. Uh, oh, Nieves breaks through again. All right, Aguera knocks it wide. Good. He looks like he's pretty good at setting up the angle on those shots. That center back was drifting in and cutting off the, the angle to the far post. And the keeper made himself big towards the near post and was able to flick that away. So pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. That's one thing, you know, and even with the goalkeeper stats highlighted, it's that's a position I'm just not sure what what's really considered good, you know. I mean, like we can look at like say crossing and go, okay, eight, ten, yeah, it's only average, but that's actually pretty good, you know. But what's what's pretty good for you know, for a keeper at certain spots? I don't know. All right, only one yellow card, so that's good. So they're not thugs like like my Bolivian squad. De Sucre. Can't believe they, they sold. Can't Well, I can't believe we had a player that sold for $100,000. I, I still can't believe I paid $1.2 million for him. But that's okay because it all worked out. We still had a lot of money. We left them in a good position. No, that was not a good shot. Let's praise them. Blow some sunshine up their ass. Try to keep them happy. Oh, Dulles Santos comes back for it. Good job. Zospi. Oh, nice through ball. One belt. I'm pretty impressed with some of the play here. So, you know, you got to remember, these guys were in the senior league last year. So they were in the top seven. Oh, hello. Was he offsides? No? Yes? No? Yes, offsides. Thought so. Looked close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it wasn't very close. Zamendez got the nice little flick on header to set that up. Good play by them. We got lucky with the offsides call. Mm. All right, that goes over the top. Juan belts. Oh, come on. You got to finish. 
got to finish. Let's, um, hmm. All right, I'm going to pull Prieto off. Mid center right. Jonathan DeSantos. Pacey. Penalty taking, hitting, free kick, dribbling. So he's more of an attacking player. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these two guys. Then we'll pull him off for... Oh, that's mid-right, not mid-center. That's all right. All right, let's take a look at Vieira. 19-year-old. Decent physicals, free kick, marking. All right, so he's more of a defensive guy. He's a decent passer. Um, Suarez. Suarez has the passing, so, yeah, we're going to make him our box-to-box. I think that'll be good there. And we had already made that one sub. Forgot about that. It happened more than 30 seconds ago, so it slipped my mind. Nice drop back to Sosa. Into the box. Oh, he hit his own guy. That's going to be a goal kick. 19 to 8 on shots. 16% possession advantage. Two... Well, they have three clear-cut chances, so the fact that we haven't given up a goal is actually good with three chances. All right. Um, he's got really good crossing. Gerardo Castro... He's got a lot of pace, not much in the way of finishing. You know what? But we have a 2-0 advantage, 10 minutes left. Let's uh, let's rest Juan Belts. I think Juan Belts is our best looking guy at that position. 27 shots. Wow. 13 long, not a big fan. But you remember even with this tactic, we we had this periodically. Uh, a nice clean sheet win to open up, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. Definitely excellent. And you see their morale is not too good because a lot of them are just, I've got like six guys that are pissed off that they're here. Um, six to eight days with that knee. Prieto, 92% passing. I like that. Good job, sir. All right. Um, so I'm going to take a little time to get used to the club. Now, we don't have... We don't have long seasons here. So let's take a look at the rules. Ten teams, 18 games. We play each other twice. So yeah, they're not going to be long seasons. We do have uh, we do have cup action, uh, and the season only runs from March to September. So I'm kind of hoping I'm kind of hoping this is a one season stop. But you know, because that's a long off season. I mean, that's six months. That's six months with nothing to do. Oh my God! Do you know how many clicks of the mouse that is? My poor finger. Uh, <laughs> um, now the Primera Division. Seriously, they only play for three months? 15 matches. They play each other twice. They've got to do something else. There's got to be... No, there's not. All right, well, um, so yeah, I'm kind of hoping this is going to be a one-season deal. Maybe we can win promotion. Um, four injuries, top of the league already. Um, yeah. Wow. All right, so I want you guys to, again, if this is a short stay, whether we get used to the players or not, don't really care. 
Uh, we're expected to win the league and gain promotion. Fair, fair enough. Um, let's come back for um, Boston River and Torque or Torque. Uh, Huracan, I'll play off camera. Villa Espanada. Uh, so I'll play two off camera. We'll come back and play the second round cup match uh, on our next episode, and then we'll just you know we'll we'll see how many we want to fit in here. Uh, anyway, there's got to be something else. I, I don't remember. Hold on. Okay, see, they had an opening stage. They did have a closing stage. Um, okay, here we go. So... 2A, no, that's all they played last year. Holy shit. Wow. That is crazy. A lot of friendlies, though. I mean, we only had one friendly in Bolivia, so that's, uh, that's crazy, though. All right, well, guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. Let me know what you think of the move. Again, it was not the one I was rooting for, but, you know, it's the one that happened. And, um... Uh, I'm just glad to have a job, I suppose, because uh, everybody else told me no. Uh, anyway, we will uh, keep on keeping on. Off to a good start with a 2 nothing clean sheet and see if we can get back up to the top division next season. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.